Hi, my name is Jordana Clyte. I have been working at Oliver's Funeral Home for about 10 years now. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about what to do with the cremated remains. So cremation is an alternative to burial. While laws vary province to province, the remains can be scattered, buried, interred in a columbarium or kept with the family. If you choose to inter at a cemetery, there are cremation plots available at most cemeteries, which hold uh, one to two urns, or you could purchase a full-size plot, which would give you room to inter anywhere from two to six urns, um, sort of making it a family plot. Uh, if you choose to inter in a columbarium, that is an above ground outdoor structure made up of individual niches specifically for the entombment of cremated remains. It provides family and friends a place to come to remember and visit their loved one. Each niche will hold up to two urns as well as any keepsake items that you may want to leave with your loved one. The niche fronts can be personalized with the name and dates or even a porcelain photo of your loved one. A columbarium may also provide a less expensive option compared to a cemetery plot. Oliver's has four columbarium walls at the city cemetery as well as one uh, at the Beaver Lodge Cemetery. However, most city and rural cemeteries now have columbariums of their own as well. Uh, Another option would be our Room of Remembrance here at Oliver's. If you needed some time to think about what you wanted to do with the urn or cremated remains, we have a Room of Remembrance that where we can hold the urn for up to five years. And you're able to visit any time and you can sit in a private room with your loved one if you wanted. Regarding uh, scattering cremated remains, the laws vary on that and on where and how the cremated remains could be scattered. If you have decided as a family that you'd like to scatter the cremated remains or if your loved one had written that in their final wishes that they wanted to be scattered, um, you just need to make sure of where you're doing that. And generally it is allowed to scatter remains, but it's always a good idea to check with that particular place or park or city, wherever you may wanna scatter them. Uh, there are biodegradable urns available. So biodegra biodegradable urns and ashes become part of new growth, returning those ashes to the earth. These urns are available in ones that dissolve in water, like if there was a specific lake or other body of water that your loved one enjoyed, um, the urn will gradually dissolve, releasing the cremated remains into the water. There's also ones that have seeds embedded into the material. So when those are planted, as they degrade, the seeds are released to grow either flowers, plants, or trees. And as I mentioned earlier, there are many types of urns available from solid wood to bronze, ceramic, steel, plastic. Uh, there are companion urns, for example, so you could have your parents in the same urn. And personalization is available for almost all urns. You can have names, dates engraved, a photo of the deceased, or a photo of their favorite flower or sports team, etc. Most urns have matching keepsakes available too. So if you did decide to inter the urn in a cemetery, family members are able to get matching keepsakes if they like with a small portion of the ashes inside. Other keepsakes such as blown glass items that have the ashes swirled throughout the glass offer a truly unique way of keeping your loved one close. Uh, there are many options available for jewelry that hold cremated remains. Putting cremated remains in jewelry is a way to keep your loved one close every day. Uh, a lot of them can also be personalized, again, with name, dates, your, their fingerprint. Um, you can also engrave their photo or their actual handwriting. Um, it can be a source of comfort to feel that fingerprint or to see that handwriting on that item. 
another option would be to set aside a small portion of ashes uh, for when the family isn't sure what keepsakes or jewelry they might want to do. They can keep a small portion of ashes here at the funeral home, again up to five years, or a family member can keep it as well. Uh, while we don't offer pet cremations at Oliver's, we do have a fair amount of urns available for pets. There's keepsakes and there's even jewelry available. Most of those items can also be personalized again with the pet's name, or you can even use their actual paw print for engraving. An urn can basically be anything that will hold the ashes. You may have a ceramic container that is handmade. You may have a coffee tin of their favorite coffee, or even a cowboy boot that your loved one wore. There are all types of urns. Whatever questions or concerns you may have about cremated remains, we are here to answer them and to help you in any way we can. Please check out our the next video coming in December that will be about dealing with grief during the holidays. Thank you.